On the Texas Gulf Coast, if you have an alligator problem, we're the ones to call. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it on the back tail. We rescue these amazing animals and relocate them to the wild or provide them a new home at our sprawling 15-acre animal sanctuary. Gator country, we thought that was Tampa Bay to have this big debate and, of course, talk about the newest show on Earth X TV. I am excited to welcome in conservationalist and uh, alligator wranglers, Gary and Shannon Sarge. Welcome to the show. You're not alone, I see. I, not necessarily who I think of when I think of cuddles, especially for morning TV. Uh, introduce us, if you will, Shannon. Who do you got there? <laughs> Hey y'all! Hey Tampa! This is this is Harley. Uh, she's uh, an alligator that was raised on the facility from egg, and she's kind of we would consider her one of our only alligator pets. What what makes her a pet? I'm curious. Again, things that I don't necessarily put together. I'm not gonna lie, Gary. Help me out. Well, since the day since the day the alligator came out of the egg, she's been hanging out at our house. She eats out of the same dog food bowl as our weenie dog does. So you get it. I mean, there's difference between. Uh, a pet and a, a wild alligator, no doubt. It doesn't eat the weenie dog, as you put it. That doesn't happen. <laughs> no. There's been no fights. No, there's yeah, there's a there's a, there's a house rule here. You can't eat weenies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, guys? I love the concept of this show, especially since it hits home here to Tampa Bay, where alligators. If you see some water, you know there's going to be alligators inside Absolutely. that water. I'm from Ohio. I have a hard time with the alligators. I'm not going to lie. It's something that makes me very uncomfortable. I need the both of you. Change my mind. Help me out here. Well, I want you to think about this, especially coming from Ohio, where you do not have native alligators. Think about this, especially in Florida. And there's no doubt our, our population in Texas is growing incredibly fast with alligators as well. In Florida, the problem is, think about this. In 1968, we put the American alligator on the endangered species list. It stayed there till 1987, but while that was happening, people were moving into the marshes and the swamps and building homes where alligator population was growing. And in 1987, they came off the endangered list, and now we got people and alligators mixing together everywhere. And by the way, the state of Florida is doing a very good job living amongst alligators. You know what? That is for sure. We do hear that regularly. I'm curious about your relationship, though. Uh, Gary, was it you or Shannon? Maybe it was you that kind of brought the love of alligators, or did the two of you develop that together? I started, Alli I started Gator Country back in 2005. Shannon and I got together about eight years ago, and she was she was working as a, as a, as a PR lady, had a whole bunch of employees underneath her wearing, you know, wearing her high heels and her dresses. I'll let you tell her. <laughs> she'll tell you the rest of the story. Oh, but she's yeah, smiling. I want to hear more about those heels. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I kicked those off and I put on my mud boots and I've been in mud ever since. But no, I fell in love with Gary and, and he introduced these amazing mag magical uh, creatures and and I fell in love with them and, and I, I kicked off those heels and put on my mud boots and I've been educating on them ever since. Good stuff. Well, you know what? Well, we've only got a few seconds left here. We saw some clips of you getting some gators out of some crazy situations and, of course, finding them home. Real quick, as we share the information, EarthX TV is where you can go to see it. Uh, best situation you found yourself in that you were able to save the gator, which I know would be a mission accomplished for you both. Uh, some of the culverts uh, in, in between some of the highways, alligators get in there and, you know, right there next to people. Sometimes it's next to school. So it's real satisfying for us to be able to take care of the people and the animal at the same time. Well, my goodness, if you lived closer, I'd be asking for you guys a phone number right now to help me out if I saw a gator anywhere near me. But you are in Texas. We can still, though, have fun with your journey. Again, Texas Gator Savers is where you can go. Thank you both so much for being with us. It was nice to meet you.